know that Wyoming will be your new home. Life on the Red Horse Ranch. As we join the boys at Red Horse Ranch, there's a lull in the day's activities. Alabama's wandered down to the corral on the lookout for Red, while up at the bunkhouse, Arizona is taxing his brain attempting to write a letter. Out of tune on it. No, sir. As long as we ain't working today, I'm getting a chance to write this letter. By guys, I didn't even know you could write. Say, who'd you be writing to anyhow? Arizona, you ain't still thinking about that gal up in Denver, are you? <laughs> no. Shut up and let me get this letter read. B E N. Oh, I see. He's got that catalog again. Must be writing for a new pair of spurs. Don't see where he got the money to pay for them. Dad Carter sure ain't handed me any pay for the last two months. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's because he ain't got it, Bob. Well, I guess we'll be riding the chuck line before long. But I ain't packing out of here till I'm right sure we can't help Dad hang on to this red horse range. Hey, Bob. Yeah. How do you spell ventriloquist? Arizona, have you gone plumb loco? What in blazes are you talking about? Ventriloquist. Can't you understand plain English? You sure got me. Is that the name of a hat or a cattle brand? Oh, gosh darn it. I ought to know that I couldn't expect any help from you horned frogs. Well, here comes Tenderfoot in. Yeah. Hey, we was wanting you and your fiddle. Uh, get fiddle? it in tune and light into yeah. one there, Tenderfoot. Yeah. Say, yeah. let's try Texas Barney and the chicken coop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
minute. What are you on? Jumping about? rattlesnakes, Arizona. Ain't you got that letter wrote yet? Say, if I'll help you if I can, Arizona, what's the trouble? All I want to know is how to spell ventricus. Uh, to spell what? Gosh, hang it, don't you know either. <laughs> ventricus. Where you talking, it sounds like somebody else is talking. Of course, your voice ain't where you oh, are. Yeah. Oh. In other words, Arizona's gone plumb loco and ain't no help for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean ventriloquist, a fellow who can throw his voice. Why, sure, what do you think I've been talking about? Can you beat you that? <laughs> Arizona's been trying all this time to find out how to spell ventriloquist. <laughs> well, how do you spell it? Well, uh, 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 you spell it... Uh, Anyhow, what in kingdom come do you want to know that for? <laughs> I'm going to learn to be one of them, that's why. It says right here in the catalog that you can learn to be a ventriloquist, oh, and now yeah. I can't find out how to spell it. Oh, well, well, Arizona is spelled out right there in the catalog. Huh? Is that the way you spell it? Well, of course. Well, can you beat that? It sure enough is. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's Alabama now. Oh, well, we'll all be here for long. Oh, well, yeah. well, that that is, uh, you may not believe it, but that uh, horse of mine is back in the corral again. Hey, I well, wonder where he runs away to, Alabama. <laughs> you figure on riding him on the roundup, you'd better count on carrying a log chain to hold him in at night. <laughs> or else clip his wings. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of the roundup, Tex, uh, What's that song you always sing out on night herd? Oh, th this must be the one you mean. The cattle call. Yeah. See, bacon and black java, fighting stampedes all night. Yeah, that's a life. <laughs> I suppose we'll have to be away from the ranch for a while. I can't help thinking that some of us fellas ought to stay here. Why? What's eating on you now, Alabama? Well, boys, I learned something from Dan Higgins. He was riding over on the other side of the Bar D this morning, and what he saw there ain't so good. What did Dan see, Alabama? He saw some stray cattle up there, and he almost most dead sure that someone's been running the brands sure on Sure enough? Well, where do you think the strays were from? Just one ranch, the Red Horse. Red Horse. Oh, 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 oh. A little rustling going on, is it? Well, we've handled them sort of varmints before. Dad's having enough trouble rounding up a sizable herd this year. Yeah, this is one year ever steer's going to count. Yeah. Oh, Dan got to looking around and found a spot over in the trees where some outfit had built a fire. 
It'd be easy to brand them dogies up there without being caught at it. Well, let me tell you, if we find any of that business going on this spring, there's going to be some powder burn. Yeah, well, right. there's no use getting on the peck till we're sure. Let's have another tune, boys. Sure. Uh, grab your fiddle, tenderfoot, and right let's go here. riding down to San Antonio. Sure, sure. San Antonio, Antonio, she hopped up on a pony and ran away with Tony. If you see her, just let me know, and I'll meet you in San Antonio. Yes, sir, Idaho, that's a boy. Look at that boy, go. Hey! San Antonio, Antonio, she hopped up on a pony and ran away with Tony. If you see her, just let me know, and I'll meet you in San Antonio. San Antonio, Antonio, she hopped up on a pony and ran away with Tony. If you see her, just let me know, and I'll meet you in San Antonio. Well, it's about time we're hitting the bunks, boys. Uh, yeah, you mean, mind helping me off my boots, Tex? Yeah, I'm sorry, right. Alabama. The next time I go to Danville, I'm going to buy you a boot jack. Oh, <laughs> come on. Get a hold of that. <laughs> Thanks. How about helping me now with my boots? I'll give you some of my boots where you don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say, fellas, there's something else I want to mention before we turn in. Oh, sure enough. Well, ever since Carter turned down Bradford on that deal for the ranch, Bradford's been acting pretty mean. Yeah. I may be thinking ahead of myself, but it wouldn't do no harm for two or three of you to stay pretty close to the house. You're right, Alabama. I don't trust that Bradford no farther than I could throw a steer by the tail. Alabama, yeah. what do you count on doing about them cattle? A good outfit could change a lot of brands in a few days. Yeah, well, it won't bother none to ride over there in the morning and take a look around. You better not say anything to Dad Carter till we know for sure. He's got a lot on his mind. Well, I advise you to carry your iron loose in your holster. Them rustling rats don't mind shooting. Well, I ain't looking for no trouble, but if there's any foul work afoot over there, we'll be ready for them. Rustlers. Must the outfit on Red Horse Ranch face another danger? What will Alabama find out when he rides across the Bardee? Careful, Alabama. Careful. <laughs> 